once the trial balance has been prepared and it does not tally then we can assume that there is some error in the books of the accounts now how to look for those errors how will actually an accountant go about searching for those errors there is a sequence of steps that is usually followed now these steps are at first what the accountant will do is that he'll check for the postings of the balance of each of the accounts in the trial balance that is check the postings of balance of accounts in trial balance that is whether the balance of each or every account has been posted or not then he must recheck the totals recheck the totals of debit and credit side debit and credit columns of trial balance there is a possibility that you might have totaled them wrongly so you must actually retotal them and check whether they have been done correctly or not then if you are still not able to locate then a series of step has to be followed which includes the first one being checking the totals of checking the totals of accounts that is individual accounts whether their balances have been calculated correctly or not then checking the postings checking the postings in the account in the accounts now why is it done just to make sure that every general entry has been posted into the account and has been posted correctly that is the amount has been recorded correctly then if you are still not able to locate then you must look for errors of omission that is look for omissions it is quite possible that you might have omitted certain amounts to be posted or to be recorded then there is another possibility you might have posted a debit balance as a credit balance it can be very easily detected that is divide the difference by 2 divide the difference of trial balance trial balance by 2 now let's say the difference in the trial balance is 10000 divided by 2 you get 5000 then look for an account that shows a balance of 5000 and verify clearly whether it is a debit balance or credit balance because there is a possibility that debit balance might have been posted as a credit balance once all these steps have been taken care of all the errors would be located and the trial balance would be matching once they have been rectified so now students whenever we are searching for errors there are certain steps that we look for first is we must check whether all the account balances have been posted correctly in the trial balance then we must check whether the totals of the trial balance have been done correctly if still not matching then we must check for the totals of individual accounts their respective postings we must look for any omissions that might be there then if still not there then you should always check whether an account with debit balance has been posted as a credit balance or vice versa this can be verified by dividing the difference of the trial balance by 2 once you divide it by 2 you might be able to get a particular account with a particular balance that shows a debit balance but has been posted on the credit side so once this has been done we will get a series or a sequence of errors or a list of errors that have been committed now these errors can be further divided into two different categories now these two categories are the errors which affect trial balance that is errors affecting trial balance and errors which do not affect trial balance
let us take some examples to understand it if there is a wrong totaling or a wrong posting that is an error that has been committed on one side of a particular account then it is sure that that error will affect trial balance whereas if there is an error which has been committed in two accounts or which we call as double sided errors double sided errors then it can be assumed that these errors will not affect your trial balance so now students it is very important to categorize errors into do these two categories why because the errors which affect trial balance are usually found in a particular account they they have only one aspect that is either the debit or the credit aspect is missing or incorrect so in such cases it is not possible to pass a journal entry unless and until you have created a suspense account whereas the errors which do not affect trial balance or which are double sided errors do not require suspense account because they affect two accounts and the mutual adjustment in these two accounts can actually result in correct entry so it is very very important that you actually identify errors whether they are affecting trial balance or they are not affecting trial balance